Hey, Richard Knudsen here again. And in this session, I want to talk to you about goal management in Dynamic CRM 2011. Now, in my opinion, this is really one of the, the great new features of this version of the product. But, like is often the case with a great new feature of a, a new product with a lot of new features, there's a bit of a learning curve to this. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is how goal criteria work, and in particular, when would you ever need to use a roll-up query for a goal? And I'm going to show you an example here, which will illustrate the point. And to start with, I'm just going to open up a relatively simple goal. It's based on the goal metric revenue, which is one of the out-of-the-box goal metrics you have to work with in Dynamic CRM 2011 goal management. And it's uh, a goal metric that's based on the opportunity record type. Let me give you a quick backgrounder on goals and goal metrics. If I open a goal record and drill down into the goal metric record, what you can see from this is that the goal metric is really a foundational element and notice that the goal metric defines the record type the source record type here is opportunity and notice that estimated revenue is the source field and the state also known as status that's going to qualify a record for being in this in progress roll up field is when it's open similarly the source field actual revenue and a status of one will qualify an opportunity record to roll up to the actual field for any goal that uses this goal metric. So that's what the goal metric defines. It defines, again, the foundation pieces, the entity, the fields, and the status values, which are going to contribute to goals based on the metric. So what does the goal build on top of that? Well, it gives it a name. It gives it an owner. If there is a parent goal, and I'll come back to that in a minute, it will define that. Probably most importantly, it defines the time period. Notice that this goal, Q1 Allen Jackson sales, is set for this period, quarter one of fiscal year 2011. You can see the dates here. And the goal also defines the target value. So Allen's got a Q1 goal of 30,000 sales. And then we have these actuals here. These are calculated fields. So the actual and the in progress, these are both calculated fields based on, again, the criteria set in the goal metric record that this is based on. OK, so now how do I know which uh, opportunity records are going to be included here? That's what the goal criteria does for us. And this is the question that I get a lot about when I mentioned, when do you need roll up queries for goals? Notice that the default, we'll come back to child goals in a minute, but the defaults for both of these are no respectively and that the record set for roll up is owned by goal owner. That's the simplest case. And what that means is that the opportunity records that are going to contribute, that is roll up or the so-called participating records for this goal are the same as those opportunity records owned by Alan Jackson. So the goals owned by Alan Jackson, so opportunity records owned by Alan Jackson because of this setting right here are the only ones that will contribute to this goal. So if I click on the goal record, say on in progress, I can see which are the contributing or the participating records here. And if I open one of these opportunity records up, I'm drilling through the goal into the opportunity. And if I scroll down, these will all be owned by Alan Jackson. This is the simplest case. And to show you how you construct a goal, build this up, what I'm going to do is add another goal record. And before I do that, let me explain something about this goal structure here. This is probably a fairly common um, sales scenario. What I've got here is I've got individual goals of people that I'm referring to as business development. 
managers maybe so they're on the new business development team and the scenario here is that these people are the these are the hunters okay and I'm going to create another goal for one of these hunters and goals for people on this team roll up to the Q1 business development team sales goal which in turn rolls up to the all up sales goal this team is a little different the corporate account managers these folks are what you might think of as the farmers and they don't have individual personal sales goals they just have a team goal and the things that are going to define which opportunities belong there that's where I'm going to show you when you would use a roll-up query the basic idea there is that the records to be considered participating records the ones that roll up to this goal aren't necessarily the same as the records that are owned by the goal owner and that's when you might need a roll-up query but first let me create another individual goal record just so you can see how this whole thing works and I'm gonna call this Q1 Ben Burton sales and I'll assign this to Ben Burton the goal metric is gonna be revenue so like I said these will all be based on that like I said these will all be based on that goal metric and I'm gonna accept the default values fiscal period of Q1 so it's gonna be the same as the others and I'm going to also make this roll up to the Q1 BD team sales. So this is going to be a roll up goal. This is a child goal of that business development team mentioned. I'll save it. So Ben and Alan are the two members of that team in my scenario. And let's suppose Ben has a $50,000 goal. If I save and close, and I look at this new goal that I defined for Ben and notice actual and in progress don't have any values there that's because this goal has not yet been calculated by default they'll recalculate automatically every 24 hours but you can always manually force a recalculation like I just did here and both the actual and in progress values are set to zero and that's because Ben doesn't have any qualifying opportunities. So let's go create one. You can see how the recalculation will work. I'll just make a new one to make it real obvious. It'll be with litware and I'll make it big enough that we can easily see the impact. And this is important because the way the goal is defined, since it's for Q1, this estimated close date has to be in Q1. So I'm going to give it a March 1st estimated close date and that'll do it. Okay, so I've got a $50,000 opportunity with an estimated close date of March 1st and let's not forget to assign this one to Ben, which is the whole point of this exercise. So now, if I do a save and close, navigate back to goals. Now let's recalculate Ben Burton's goal. We'll see in progress go to 50,000 for Ben and we'll also see a couple of other things because both Ben Burton's and Alan Jackson's Q1 goals are child goals of this goal here the Q1 new business develop the B sorry that Q1 BD team sales goal you can see that the in progress here is always going to be the sum of the in progress values for the two child goals so 205 plus 50 do a little of the envelope math and I get 255,000. If you change any of those goals and recalculate the uh, the parent goal will always be recalculated. Now that is a pretty good illustration again of how this scenario works. The record set for roll-up is goals that are owned by the goal owner. But when would I ever need one of these roll-up queries? Let me show you an example of when you might want that. So let's take a quick look at my Q1 all-up sales goal. Understand this structure a little bit better. Here's my all-up sales goal and notice that the child goals, so I've got child goals for this goal and those are the team goals. So the 
all up goals, the highest level parent goal, and it's got two child goals, the BD team sales and the CAM team sales. If I go down here to, and I've set my target, by the way, the target has to be manually set. That's another thing to keep in mind. Targets never roll up. The target is an entered number. The only numbers that calculate roll up automatically are these down here in this actuals section. So the actual and the in progress in this case. Notice that the goal criteria for this high level parent goal, the all up goal, is to roll up only from child goals. So this is very specific. It says that the only participating records here are going to be records that are contributing to these two values here. Notice that you can't get directly to participating records when you're in one of these parent goals. So this is an important one. That's what this is. If I save this and close it. And we'll look at the CAM team sales. And as I mentioned earlier, this goal is not going to be rolled up from goals that are owned by people. The, this is going to be a catch-all goal. So the structure of this organization here, again, these are all very organization-specific scenarios, but this is a relatively common one. Basically, any goal that is not owned by Alan Jackson or Ben Burton, suppose we've got an inside sales team, and we may or may not assign goals directly to individuals there. Maybe goals are owned by the team. They're worked a team of people, or they may be worked by individuals, but the key thing there is no individual sales goals, or what's going to determine this. So, if I open this goal up, what you'll see here is that if I scroll down to the bottom here and look at the goal criteria section for this CAM team sales goal, what you'll see is the record set for roll-up is not going to be specified by who owns the underlying record, but I've got this all option selected and here's an example of where I'm going to use a roll-up query. That's what's determining what the participating records are here. And the fact that I've got 101,000 in progress. To see, understand how that works, let me switch this back. So I'm going to change this back. I'm going to say it's owned by the goal owner. And what this would do is this is going to make it so that the only records that will contribute to this to these calculated values down here are, for this goal, records that are owned by the, this specific team. They have to be assigned to the corporate accounts team directly here in order to, contrib to uh, contribute. So if I click Recalculate and scroll down, notice actuals now have been recalculated and there's no in-progress value here because there are no opportunity records that are owned directly by this team. So let's scroll back down here to our goal criteria and let's flip this back to the way it should be. So record set for roll up if I select the all option and let's now go look and see what these roll up queries look like. I've got this one predefined that by clicking on the link and go see what these roll up queries look like. So here's a roll up query that I created. So it's a specialized as the term query implies, specialized version of advanced find. And how we've defined this is that the owner does not equal, if you look here, I'll open this up, what I've done here is to say that the business rule that defines the records that the corporate accounts team is going to get credit for are any opportunity records that are not owned by the, the business development hunters or directly by the team. So since I added Ben Burton to that team, let's go ahead and add him here too. So I would need to do a little bit of maintenance. There are other ways to define these roll-up queries as well. That might be a little bit more flexible, but this illustrates the point. So now, any records that are not assigned to one of those um, users or that team will show up here. So for example, if I go and make a new opportunity record, I'm going to make it user provided, another $50,000 opportunity, and we'll also make sure this one is going to close estimated in Q1, and the owner is Richard Knudsen here. So this meets the criteria to roll up to this 
goal here. So let's now recalculate this and see if my theory is correct. And sure enough, you can see that the CAM team sales are now the in progress calculated value is 101,000. And if I open that up, we can see what easily see what the participating records are. And if I verify this, you can see that it's going to add up to that amount. And these would be three opportunity records that are not assigned to the business development team directly or any of the members on the team. I could go and open one of these opportunities and close it. If I close it as one, and then close the record, and go back to the goal and recalculate it, then you'll see how we get something in the actual calculated field here. And then after closing that goal record and refreshing this list, you can see that there's that 50,000 of actual. And notice that it rolls up to the recalculated $50,000 actual value for the Q1 all up sales. So similarly, if I go into, say, Alan Jackson's Q1 sales goal record, look at one of the participating records here. Remember, these are all completely defined by who owns the goal. So if I look at the in-progress records here, I know that every one of these records is going to be owned by Alan Jackson. If I open this one up, this $150,000 opportunity, and let's verify that the close date is within the estimated close date. This is in the quarter. If I close this thing as one, go ahead and close it like this. So this will now contribute to the actual value here. So you close out the opportunity, go back to the goal record, scroll down to the actuals section. You see that it's not there yet. That's because we haven't recalculated. So we recalc. Now you'll see it. There's your 150,000. We close out of there and refresh the list. Now we've got 150,000 to the good for Alan Jackson in his actuals. Notice the roll-up automatically happens to both the business development team sales actual value. There's that 150,000. And then that plus that rolls up to that 200,000 there. So that's actually a pretty good example because what we saw here is examples of all three of the main scenarios for those goal criteria. Let's do a quick review to close out here. So here's the simple case. We've got an individual sales goal where the owner of the goal is going to be defined as the thing that specifies which records roll up because this record set for roll up is owned by a goal owner. That's the default and it's probably the easiest one to understand. If I go to the Q1 all up sales, the very highest parent goal in this hierarchy of goals. I see that we scroll down here and we say that we roll up only from child goals. So this value here, this is going to specify that only records that contribute to either this or this in this case, that's going to define what rolls up to the actual values here. So it doesn't have anything to do with who owns those goals, but it may depending upon the definition of those goals. But as far as this goal cares about, this is all we need to know. So we're going to roll up only from child goals. And finally, the third example we saw was for this corporate accounts, the CAM team sales goal. In this scenario here, we needed to use a roll up query because this CAM team sales goal is not defined. It doesn't have child goals. That's not what rolls up to here. And we're not only interested in records that are actual opportunity records, I should say, that are actually owned by the corporate accounts team. In the scenario I had, they could be owned by anybody. In fact, anybody that's not on the business development team. That's what we use a roll-up query for. So anyway, those are the three main criteria, the three main situations where you'll need to um, understand what's going on in the goal criteria for goals in Dynamics CRM 2011, and in particular, 
that's what you'll need a rollup query for. So, Richard Knutson signing off. Hope you found this helpful.